All right, so I've got Abby out here with me on the barbecue pad, and we just set our Dutch oven over there for our pork ribs. Mm -hmm. And Abby had this idea about doing a question and answer. And she posted, a, you made a post on Instagram, right? I did. Mm -hmm. About a question and answer. And we had some people respond with questions. So we thought it'd be fun to uh, hang out and answer some of those questions. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but we'll, we'll try to get through as many as we can without dragging out the video That's too That's exactly long. right. And uh, we do have a nice cold drink because it is Friday evening. Yes, it is. And it is really hot, so pardon my upper <laughs> It is sweat. hot. We've got the little fans on us mm -hmm, down mm -hmm. here, so hopefully that's not affecting the mic too much. Okay, I'm just going to blast right in. Are you ready? Go These for were it. great questions. All right, Rutherford. Rutherford the Basset. How cute is that? Oh, yeah. What a yeah. cute puppy. Okay, yeah. uh, do you see the camper making it out to California? Uh, allow me. Absolutely, yes. Go right ahead. Answer them. Absolutely, yes. I uh, went to school in Los Angeles, so I have so many places in California I want to go, but that's like a trip all in its own. When you were there in LA, did you ever take any trips north to any of the of national parks? Did. You did? No, not the national parks. See, I hate myself for that. So you didn't go I, to the national parks I when did you were the there. museums and that kind of thing. No, because I I wasn't into that then. Okay. Isn't yeah. that weird? I mean, I was well, into it. I've always been into it. But you, I, one thing that I have learned is that different stages of your life. Yes you appreciate things differently and now i have a partner that wants to do that too we we are partners and we enjoy all the same things and we want to see the same things. so i would agree with that i i think that one day it will happen we will make a trip out to california and I go up go the to coast the redwoods so go to the redwoods bad. go to uh yosemite, yosemite and yosemite sorry i butchered i butchered that up Let's just move on. Okay, the next one is how many t-shirts does Abby own? How many do you own? I actually feel kind of bad because this is a repeat t-shirt. Oh, you repeat. guys have seen this one before. Oh, the fresh uh, beats. The, the fresh beats. I, <laughs> I love that have one. way <laughs> so too many t-shirts. I buy them everywhere we go. I cannot help it. It is a disease. Well, it's one of the things that Abby enjoys, and the fans seem to really enjoy uh, looking and trying to spot what her funny shirt is going to be. I really so, am glad that you guys noticed because I she love like, the funny shirts. She likes the funny shirts, <laughs> and she also loves wearing the shirts from the places that we visit to. So national yes. parks, any any place like that that represents places that we have visited. Agreed. Okay, are we open to doing meetups? Oh, that's really peopley. It's really <laughs> peopley. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I think that after COVID gets done, that's something that we would consider for sure. All right, so would you come back to Indiana to visit? Well, yes, we're going to. We loved it. Uh, the Dune State Park. Yes. Dune State Park. I'm yes. sure that we are going to make our way back to Indiana definitely, at some definitely. point. And uh, we have a list that we keep of things that viewers tell us to go see. And this is on the list. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we do get ideas from viewers from time to time. And uh, we certainly like to keep note of those things. And just remember, it's hard to see it all. So it even is. though we might be somewhere and we get suggestions like, oh, you should have went here, you should have seen this. Well, we know that there's a lot of great places to go and visit and see, yep. and you just can't hit them all on every trip. No. So you try to make plans so that next time you go, you can hit something new. Exactly. Okay, any Michigan trips planned? We did have one plan, but we had to cancel that because we didn't have enough time, yep. and we had to go back into Ohio. But So we don't have any immediate Michigan trips next. planned. Next possibly next year maybe maybe uh mom wants to go to the holland holland for holland, the tulip Michigan. festival how cute is that so i don't know that's it's just something that's kind of op open you know all right the next one is does abby ride the monkey <laughs> he will not let me you've never ridden a motorcycle before <laughs> she doesn't know how to ride a motorcycle that's and i'm true. not saying that she cannot no, 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 ride no. it I, or doesn't have the ability to but she's never ridden a motorcycle no i haven't so she she needs to learn how to ride it she can ride a bike you know a bicycle but she needs to learn how to ride a uh, ride a motorcycle and you know function the clutch the gear shifting the brakes and all that stuff all right that same viewer also asked if we have plans to vi visit the smokies Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely want to go back to the Smokies. There's a lot of great places there that we have not seen yet. We haven't even been. We went to Asheville, but we didn't do anything outside of that because yet. Because we want to make it a trip. And yeah, we do. Yes, we want to we make it be, a we will be dedicated going. trip there. Yes. Okay, this was for you. Would you do a whole hog cook? 
Absolutely, I would. I, Have you ever been to one of those? I've been to a party that had a whole hog. They actually had two of them there. You know, they, they catered it, though. They didn't cook it. Um, it's something that I have never done myself personally, but I see it a lot online. I know it's a popular thing to do, so I would, I would do it, but I would prefer to do it like first time. I would love to be with a group of people oh, or somebody yeah. like that knows, people. you know, <laughs> like if I had somebody to actually show me and teach me how to do it, that's what I would want to do right there. Agreed. Okay. How do you come up with your destinations? I love this question. I'm going to answer it. You go ahead. Honestly, we usually choose one or two things that we know we want to do, and then we plan the rest of the trip around it. Yep. So, I mean, that's basically how it goes. And we have a lot of factors that, you know, antiques, we always try to hunt those out, so that determines our route. We also barbecue, that determines our route sometimes. Yep. But usually we have a couple of destinations that we know we want to hit, and then we have a timeline that we know we have to stay in, and then we plan everything else. Yep. So a lot of times, to go in a little bit further, is we kind of back from there so if if you have one specific area that you want to go to you know you're going to go there you plan a certain time you go there then you have to start figuring out your trip from say home this location to there so point a to point b how are we going to break that trip up where are we going to go well let's look at the route and see where that route takes us and then from there we start looking okay we could go here we could go here and kind of zigzag our way up and maybe hit some places that we haven't hit before or sometimes they're just going to be a quick overnight stop on the way up that's true and i forgot what i was going to say dang it was a good one oh. about the how to how oh do we... yeah we we do have to improvise sometimes because that was the other question and yes we when we were on our last big haul we ended up having to change the trip halfway through because of the fires so we try to plan a little yeah and then we kind of know what we want to do like breweries and that kind of thing well some of the local stuff we don't necessarily plan out in advance That's and maybe true. until we're there and we know that we want to go to a brewery or we want to go do something there that's true but we try to plan out each location that we're going to go to as far as like a like a city or a destination and or I a remember, park i remember what i was going to say okay we try to not drive any more than five hours yeah. Six well, is our max. Six is kind of the max for me. And I, sometimes we'll go over, but usually we don't. And that yeah. also gives us the less maybe known stops, you know, those little smaller stop-ins, which usually end up being some of our favorite places. Yeah, some of so. those are great. Uh, I know a lot of people will get out there and drive 12 hours a day, maybe more than that. That is not for me. I don't like doing it. I've never liked doing it. I get cranky. My my leg starts to hurt after I was sitting in the truck for a, for a long time. So, so what works for us is we like to go five to six hours each stint of the trip. And I especially like it when it's only like two or three hours to the next destination. But it's really fun to basically go, okay, what's six hours away? What's yep. eight hours away? What's, that's how you we know? do it sometimes. And so that's really, and then sometimes we will go two hours and stop because we found something that we know we wanted to do. Oh yeah. And that's fine, that's fine as well. And we take in consideration the time, like a lot of times I wanna know what time checking is, which is normally 12 o'clock, one o'clock, sometimes two o'clock. Well, if we have places that we wanna stop, such as an antique store, well, we know that we need to give ourselves, let's say a good hour there. So you take that in consideration, how long it's gonna take from point A, point A to the antique shop, spend an hour there, and then from there to our final destination, you know? And, and from there, I'm trying to map out the timeline of our trip there. We use a lot of Google Maps. We do, I'm a Google Map user. Yeah. And contributor. But it is amazing the things that you find. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our next one is, do we have a list of trains that we want to do? Yes, we do. It's a separate list, but on the same list as ones for viewers. So if you guys have good trains, please let us know. Yeah, we would actually like recommendations for other trains, but please check out the train videos that we have already done if you haven't seen those. We love all the trains that we have done. Those and we, are some of my favorite days. It's, it is some of our favorite times out there, yeah. uh, especially Durango train and the Royal Gorge Route train. Those that's are my very phenomenal. Favorite one. We would ride those every year. But we're really we interested in doing kind of a, a, across several states because um, we want to stay the night on the train. Yeah, and that would be an epic trip. We want to do 
you know, think the trains in Europe. Yeah, we would so. we would like a train if we if we can find out about a train that where you have a room where you stay. Yeah. And then so, you know, you have a restaurant on there, you have a bar that you can go at. Maybe the train stops at different cities along the way well, where you have time there. We would love to do a trip like that. Mm -hmm. um, I know I know they offer that overseas, but if they have one Which in, we'll be doing. over here in the US, I would love to do that. Agreed. Is the big hall heading to the northeast? Uh, no. I want to go so bad. This big hall uh. is not going to be towards the northeast, but we are talking big time about a northeast big haul trip that'll be a separate big haul trip we also talked about taking a train out there taking the train and then renting a car we'll see i think we're gonna end up pulling the kodiak though yeah agreed okay the next one this is all from the same uh, viewer will our next camper be a fifth wheel a bumper pool or a coach it will not be a fifth wheel and it's going to continue to be a bumper pool Tell him why you don't you don't you don't necessarily want the fifth wheel right now. Well, there's a couple reasons why. I like a bumper pull because it allows me to utilize the bed of my truck the way it was meant to. I can put cargo back there, which is He means is, barbecue supplies. Well, we can put barbecue supplies back there. I can put anything back there I want. When you have a fifth wheel hooked up, you're limited on what you can put in the back of the truck. I know you can put things back there, but you're, you're more limited on that. But the reasoning uh, is very simple and that's it. <laughs> we like the size of the RV that we have. We, we have a 26 foot Kodiak. We like the size of it. It gives us a lot more options. I don't necessarily want a big fifth wheel. I don't want to pull a big fifth wheel. We, we, I like the smaller travel trailer. We stay in a lot of places that we, we don't want to be limited because of the size of our coach. Yep. And so we understand how nice it would be to have something big. But I think for us right now, we like the size and we yep. love our camper. We're, so. we're happy with what we, we have and we're gonna, we are gonna stick with that size for a good while, I, I guarantee you. Okay, will you upgrade before you buy your dream property or home? Upgrade RV? Uh -huh. uh, it's a good possibility that we, that we might. We've been looking at some of the other models of will the Kodiak. upgrade before our dream home? Before our dream home? I don't know. I don't, don't know, know when that's going to happen. I We're mean, working so hard on we've it. We've been working on that for a while, and I just don't know when that's going to happen. We, we don't know when no. it's going to happen. No. Okay, any interest in being a full-time RVer? Uh, there's a lot of interest there. Yeah. There's there's a lot of interest there. Yeah. And, and I think for me, I could probably be a full-timer. I don't know if right now is the appropriate time, but I feel like that I would really enjoy being a full-time RVer. I really do. I um, love I just, having a home base. I really do. Well, I think that we're always going to have a home base, no matter what I we think. end up doing. We're well, going to have a home to go gonna to. You're always going to have a shop. But we really do love traveling. This is, you know, since being with Abby and the traveling that we have done since we've been together has been the most traveling I have ever done in my life, and I absolutely love it. And it's something that I have become very passionate about. It's what something that I love, that I enjoy. So this has I been want, way better than I even thought it was going to be. Absolutely. <laughs> we were on our honeymoon saying, let's get a pop up. This will be great. Yep. And now we're like, when can we go camp? <laughs> I brought the idea up. I was like, hey, yes, well, you want to I said pop up, but you know, you want to go look at campers. I do love hotels. And I do. But so we got married in April better. and we bought our Kodiak at the very end of April. We did. Same month. <laughs> yeah. And that's where it started right there. And we've never stopped. It's been so it's been so fun. we don't want to stop. No, no, no. Why would you want to? So we're working hard in between when we're camping and during camping, but yep. we love this and we love we love camping. Yeah, we do enjoy it. We love it. All right, well, that's all the questions. We really Is appreciate it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think we've been on here, what, an hour and a half uh, for them? 14 Ooh. minutes. Oh my gosh, it's not so bad. Not I too bad. I thought we were gonna ramble, ramble. Well, it's really easy to ramble on when we're talking about stuff like this. So uh, I think it's a fun way to participate with our viewers and those who engage with us and, and enjoy following us and, and following what it is we do, our travels and everything else, our camping, our cooking. So I think it's a fun way to communicate with your with your audience. So we'll do it again. And guess here, what? Here, what? I've been working on t-shirts. Oh, oh, are you gonna say you were gonna give them a little plug about that, huh? Yeah, they're, they're coming. We have been working on t-shirt <laughs> ideas. Actually, Abby, has been working on t-shirts yep 
t-shirt art. Every single one of them will be designed by me. They will, they are all going to be designed by Abby. And I have written down, you know, different t-shirt ideas and she's been working on those. She's got t-shirt ideas. So we really do want to come out with a uh, line of uh, A-Bomb Adventure t-shirts mm -hmm. and we are working on that. So we hope to have those sometime Soon. in the near future. So yeah. we'll let you guys know whenever that happens. Is that going to stop me from buying t-shirts on the road? No. no. <laughs> it just gives us a way to kind of um, express some of our, you know, personal thoughts on, on a funny t-shirt idea. Yeah. Just like uh, barbecue. There's going to be some barbecue shirts. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. All right. So I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this up. I had a lot of fun doing this. Me too. We'll have to oh, do it again. One more thing. What? The big hall is so close. It's so close. The big I'm hall getting ready. is coming up. We are definitely doing it. We've got all of our plans made and hopefully everything is going to work out. The new decor, it has arrived. Oh yeah, she's getting ready to do I'm the decorations. I'm waiting for a few other pieces. Yep. I'm excited. Yep. It's going to be cute. We'll be sure to bring that video to you whenever we do it. The yes, redecoration inside the Kodiak. Yeah. Thanks for the questions, guys. All right. I'm going to get back for, to my uh, barbecue. Thanks for traveling with us. We love it. Yep. Definitely. Thanks for traveling and coming along with us and and uh, the for, the, done? for the question and answers. No, it's still cooking. We got to get the veggies on. All right, That's go do the veggies. Now. All right.